Hi guys, welcome back to Johnny's Action Packed Guitar Stuff. Yo. Okay, so on the last video we did the black Les Paul copy. Uh, on this video we're going to be doing the uh, burgundy coloured Les Paul copy, the uh, Eros, Eros, or whatever you pronounce it, I don't know. But this guitar doesn't have any name. So I guess we'll just have to call it Riven Treble. So there's my Eros and there's my Riven Treble. So let's get on with it. So where do we start? I must say I have no idea on how to do the wiring. So what I'm going to have to do is take a pickup off and take the backs off and hopefully I can copy the wiring because I haven't got a clue how to wire a guitar up. Okay so we've undone the pickup and so that one has a blue wire and the blue wire goes to goes down there look to that pot which is a different pot to my pot oh lovely so let me see if I can work this out okay so I fed the pickup wire through going to put one screw in to stop it falling out because it keeps falling out and then we have to start soldering inside there won't we okay so the first one I'm going to do is this white wire this white wire goes all the way to the toddle switch and there's my white wire and I have to solder it to that thing there. So that will be my first wire. I don't know why but all the nooks and crannies are full of cotton wool and you have a bit of trouble feeding the wires through. Okay, so let's try and get the pot screwed on, buttoned up, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that should do that. Then I've got to find the uh, knob. Yes, we've Okay, we found the knob. Let's put number 10 at the top. Okay. So I didn't really film the wiring very much because it wasn't really the same as that. All the wires are different colours to the ones on this one. They're all different colours. So mainly, I've, mainly it's just been guesswork, I guess. So I think I've got it. To show you what I've done. I 
did say this guitar was 40 years old or more but since then I've learnt differently because it used to be my brother's guitar he used to play in a band called Cairo years ago and they changed it to Blazing Star <laughs> uh, so he obviously had it for a few years and it was a few years old when he bought it he actually bought a Les Paul American Custom and he gave this to me when I was 16 so this is probably well over 50 years old so you know me I've got to fix it I've got to bring it back to life so I can play it again I'm not bothered about all the chips and the scratches and the beans and the peas and the chips and the, I'm not bothered about all the it's all history on this guitar. Spent hours and hours playing on this guitar. So before we start, let's give it a bit of a clean up. Let's give it a good clean up with some uh, um, uh, hey. Big D Tough Action Oven and Grill Cleaner. No, I better not use that, had I? Where's my polish? Better use some cheap wax polish than I. Did it work? Mmm, smells nice. You put too much on there, Johnny boy. Way too much. Looks a bit better, doesn't it? Still need another polish when we're done, but let's get rid of all that dust. So, let's get on with the rest of it. Okay, so as you know, we have some new pickup plates, pickup surrounds, whatever you want to call them. Some nice black screws. And we also have the long black screws and the springs. So let's do this one first. Where's my screwdriver? But if I like those screws, they're self tapping. The original screws are threaded. So if I just screw those into my... I'm going to be stuck with them forever, I think. I don't know. Cool. I don't know. Let me think about that. See if I can find the other screws. Okay, so it's sort of all in it. Been through all my stuff. All I can find is the one that was in it originally. So I'll have to bite the bullet and go with these they're way too big to go in there what I'm going to have to do is drill through so these ones can fit in but I'm not just going to drill through willy nilly I do have this broken back plate I'm going to drill into that first. And then, I'm going to see what they screw into it like. Yes, it self taps into there nicely, but then again, 
that is just plastic. So, yes, I think we'll have to go for it, won't we? We'll be here all day. Let's just drill the holes bigger. There's one. Uh, I don't want to be able to go all the way, aren't you? That's two. See if we can screw these bad boys in. Make some new threads. Very tight. Yes, it's going. So it's looking like that's going to work. Let's try. Where do we get inside to this blade? So I'm imagining that the uh, thin one will go at the front. That has to go on there. The spring has to go on there. Goes in there. Goes on there. This don't look quite right to me, but we'll see when we get there. I think what it is is they're bent. They're just liars. Liars, where are you? Where are you little pliers? Okay, fat my pliers. Let's try and show you what's going off. These little tabs. As you can see, the way the pickup is right over there. It should be in the middle. Because these tabs are bent. If we try and bend this one back, Bend this one the other way. About right. Looking good. Let's see how far these screws go down. Yep, it's not quite right, is it? screws are too long like I thought. So what we're going to have to do is either make holes in there or saw the screws off. Okay so I decided against cutting the end of the screws off because there's not much thread there so what I did instead where they're catching on the wood I just drilled through. this side there's already a nice cut out so now they should just fit in he says ah yes there we are perfect yeah look it's even got a diamond inlay just put my neck on because Be a gap between the pickup number one, number two, see what they look like. You don't have to do them tight because just crack the plastic if you're not careful. Sure they're not vibrating. Now these two there's no holes there. 
So we we'll have to drill some pilot holes. A really thin drill. Drill some holes. Looks nice. Do they adjust? Yes, they are just nicely. What do we do with this one? Do we uh, take that out? Obviously. I will use my new one. My brother bought this pickup years ago and put it in the guitar. It was originally gold. Don't know why they were gold. They were gold and these were silver. Really makes sense. There can see one screw hole, so let's go for that. Same on this side, there's no screw holes. So that's the pickups. Hope they're on the right way. They're on the wrong way because that's slanted forward. I've actually just turned the plate round because it was pick up was sort of leaning in like that and I thought that didn't look right so I've turned the uh, pick up cup plate bracket whatever you want to call it turned it round because there is this side is larger than that side, if you know what I mean. So, what next? Okay, now so now we've found our scratch board, or scratch plate. Just making a wall for that. New shiny screws. Starting to look like a guitar, isn't it? Okay, so let's do our toddle switch. What's a new? knob on it, just simply screws on perfect probably wondering what these two holes are do they have like a special effects pickup a special effects pedal to make it sound like a violin or an organ or whatever but yes it was pretty crap I did drill two holes to put the pickup in but you know all part of the history is again isn't it all part of the history Can you see that Mm. 
many years of at home leaning on that, wearing it out. So I'm actually going to call this the end of the video now because it's gone on too long. Everybody's bored stiff. Uh, there's still a lot more to do next week. Got to make a cover for that. You can see it, where are we? Make a cover for that all, make a cover for that all. Put the neck on, obviously. And on this guitar, I will be setting the intonation, which is basically on this point here to the 12th fret. So basically, from the knot with your open string when it's in tune, then your 12th fret also has to be in the same tune. If it's not, then you have to adjust these little screws on the bridge. Otherwise, you'll never get your guitar in tune. So, thanks for watching. Hope you all understood that, because I didn't. And I'll uh, see you next week. on put the thingy things on into that into that the thingy things on the thingy things on and then on this guitar I will be setting the into that and on this guitar I will be setting the intonation which is basically on this point here to the 12th fret and then from the 12th fret to the knot should both be exactly the same distance. I think I'm explaining it right.